I don't know why nowadays Christians like hospitals so much. As soon as they are a bit ill to rush to hospital to be consulted and to take medicine. I also brother Alfonso I have noticed it around me and in my assemble. Do hospitals are so safe as we think? I think so since people can go there and be healed. Do you really think that? For me as spiritual person I think that we have to examine the matter deeply. Because it's not for nothing that the Lord told us to pray for the sick in the book of I James 5.14 the Lord says is anyone among you sick? Let them call the elders of the church to pray for them and anoint them with oil in the name of the Lord. But nowadays when somebody is sick, he just rushes in the hospital without even consulted God? That's true brother Alex. Hi sister Emma. Hi sister Crystal. Yes, I don't understand why women seem obliged to take too much drugs during their pregnancy. I too. I don't know if those drugs are really necessary. And when we see in the Bible, we don't really see something like that. Women were getting pregnant and gave birth simply. Is there nothing hiding behind all those drugs? I don't know. Only God knows. You're right. Only God knows. Maybe one day he will tell us. In my battle against humanity and Christians now I will tickle hospital. I will inform the agents choose for these tasks of what they have to do. I am sending many of you to become doctors and nurses to work in every hospital in the world. Begin to send little children down to us through childbirth. Initiate patients through drugs and injections. Encourage more abortions, and send more souls down here for training. I am sending out ships loaded with possessed syringes, cotton wool, operating materials, and latest medical technologies machines. These items only need to get in contact with their blood. Then they will be possessed with evil spirit and immediately lose their salvation. You must show no mercy to anyone. I have deposited 30 million poisonous mosquitoes on the earth to bite and release diseases of different kinds into people's bodies. Also there are thousands of demons hanging in the air to pollute the air with all kinds of sicknesses. Some demons have been sent to companies and offices, to work as cleaners, to wash their toilets and invoke spells on their water systems. Whenever anyone uses the toilet without praying, they will contract all kinds of diseases. Thank you so for the message. diseases into the world. And people will need our drugs to heal themselves. I am also sending out 20 million drugs of all kinds with different evil purposes, manufactured from thousands of legions of demons. You know demons do not get sick or get tired. When the sick use these drugs, they will be very active. The drugs will cure them immediately but it will destroy their souls, because they will look like us in the presence of God, just as we did to them in the time of Noah. I have also released 40 drums of my saliva for the manufacture of chemical that will be used to produce more drugs. Also several drums of ascorbic acid have been deposited into the world for drugs and foods manufacturing. We can see that human no longer depends on the power of prayers, but on the power of drugs for healing. With these demonic syringes loaded in the ships, Contaminate people blood with these syringes while doing blood tests, and recommend them some of these drugs in the ship for healthy living. Ensure you hijack people's soul and send them into the deep sea while doing operation. They will become my slaves here in the deep sea. Thank you so for the mission. The demons sent to hospitals are to contaminate every blood in the blood bank with diseases and unclean spirits. These demons are to suck part of the blood and release their saliva and evil spirits into every blood in the blood bank. It will only take the power of that righteous man to set anyone who uses any of our drugs free from our captivity. I am also sending out countless pregnancy care drugs for women. Each time they use it, they will be weak in the spirit. The fools would think the pregnancy is what is weakening them, and will not rely on the power of prayer. When they use our drugs, they will be weak both spiritually and physically to attend church services, read their Bible, or pray, until they become dead spiritually. Whenever you meet prayerless pregnant women, hijack the baby in their womb and replace the baby with a demon. Every family on the earth must have at least two of my agents, which will make it easier to know every activities going on in every home. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Dear brother and sister, the more we grow in the Lord the more each word of the Lord has a deeper meaning for us. 
we could now better understand why the Lord says to pray without ceasing. We are living in a world that is under the power of darkness. In this video, we do not say not to go to the hospital or to not take some medication. But we want to put emphasis on the fact that we have to be aware of what is going on in that domain for us to be well spiritually prepared when for any reason we may be in need to go find help there. Dear brothers and sisters, that will be all for this video. If you enjoyed this video, do not hesitate to like it, comment on it and share it with those around you so that only one soul will be saved and restored. And please don't forget to subscribe to the Sentinel channel so you don't miss any of our next videos. God bless you and protect you.